Welcome back to La La Land on CRN Digital Talk. I'm Brett Chapin. That's Adam Member of Southern. We're talking with uh, casting director Joanna DeMoyer. If you have any questions for Joanna, make sure you give us a call at 1-800-336-2225. That's 1-800-336-2225. And Joanna, I wanted to find out, because we got some actors listening, I'm sure. Um, how can people find out information about you um, if they want to submit to you? for projects is it just through actors access or is there another way um i pretty much decide where i'm submitting the breakdown based on the project itself mm -hmm. so because um you know talent agents uh for commercials uh they're submitting on uh, la casting primarily so commercial breakdowns tend to be released on la casting as well as like print music video that type of thing mm -hmm. um and I'm I'm just talking about the the agency side of things. Sure. Um, so for theatrical, it's uh, they use Breakdown Express, which translated for actors. Some projects are released to both agents and to actors. So if the project is released to actors, then yes, you're correct. It would be on Actors Access. Um, so for anything that I'm casting that is film or TV, uh, I use Actors Access definitely. So that's where um, that's where I released my breakdown for Secret Diary of an American Cheerleader. That's where I released my short film breakdowns, you know, SAG Ultra Low Budget, that type of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, I did recently cast what was considered more of sort of web commercial, like hosting. And so I actually uh, tried out LA Casting for that particular job. But I tend to use um, Actors Access much more. Um, I like Actors Access better, personally. Yeah, and yeah. they also cost less to the actor as far as, you know, when they want to change their pictures or that kind of thing. Yeah, definitely. Um, well, I think uh, any smart actor should be on, you know, LACasting.com and ActorsAccess.com. I just, right. you know, most of us have a preference of one or the other. Most people do submissions on both if they're very serious about obtaining acting work on their own, as well as, you know, having their agent do submissions on their behalf for the jobs that pay more. Mm hmm um, I also have a, a casting page on Facebook where I will post, I'll, I'll give people a heads up. Oh, I just released a breakdown. You know, this is where to find it. Mm -hmm. um, and that one is Demoyer Casting. So I, I'm pretty sure it's facebook.com slash Demoyer Casting. Facebook.com slash Demoyer Casting. And you're also on, on uh, IMDb too, right? I am, yes. Very cool. Yes. Eager, love, eagerly adding my credits. <laughs> <laughs> I love that fun. you mentioned that one of the people cast was someone who self-submitted. I think that's really important for people to know because I think it's it's so easy to get caught up in, oh, I don't have this agent or this manager. I can't get book anything. It's she like, has one of the top yeah. five agencies. Right. It's not because she doesn't have an agent. And actually, she has the, st the highest star meter out of the entire cast. Um, mm -hmm. So... I, I don't know if maybe she had a manager that had her passwords and was using her account because she actually seemed unaware that she had submitted to the job, which was kind of funny. Huh. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, for the most part, though, my trouble with the self-submissions were actors that thought that they could play 18 to look younger and right. clearly were too old. Um, and, it, you know, if I'm looking for someone mid-20s, then, then wonderful. It'll say mid-20s on the breakdown. But if it says 18 to look younger and you don't look like you can pass for high school, then why are you... There were just... The, the submissions were of a different quality. Right. The self-submissions versus the agency submissions definitely were were quite different as far as the level of talent and what they thought that they could do. You know, I get so tired. I, I hear actors say all the time, I can't get work, I can't get work. And it's like, what, what, what are you doing? You're relying on your agent the whole time? Like, you're not, you've really got to be aggressive and you really got to push and, and submit yeah. yourself. You can't rely on your agent to do all the you work really for you. You really do have to be proactive. And for a, a lot of the projects that I cast are not necessarily released to agents because if I'm casting a short film that is, you know, festival bound, might even have an A-list actor in it, but all the supporting characters are, are copy credit and meals, why am I going to release that to agencies? They can't make a commission off of it. Right, right. So if you want to get these, you know, films that are going to help you build your reel, potentially go to a festival, you know, sure. Are you maybe working a day or two, you know, for free? Yes. It, and that's up to you to decide whether you're willing to do that or not. Sure. But if it is one of those films you have to submit on it yourself. No one's going to submit for you for a non-paying role. And even, I mean, in the case with like a web series that might pay 100 a day or an ultra low budget that pays 100 a day, a lot of agents don't have the time to submit you for a job like that where they're only going to make a $10 commission. Sure. 
But the yeah. fact that you do right. those are great because that means actors are meeting with you. Maybe they're this job's for free, but you know them. You've seen them work now. Maybe oh, definitely. you'll keep them in mind for the next Oh, one. definitely. And it, I mean, if if I like you as an actor in one project, I will continue to keep casting you. There's even actors I couldn't cast in Secret Diary um, that I really liked, and I keep trying to find them work. Nice. Um, That's, uh, you're just, being I, helpful. There were That's so many cool. good actors. I wish I could have given them all jobs. <laughs> Casting Director Joanna DeMoyer, thanks so much for coming in and, and joining us. You're, You're welcome. It's been a pleasure. We are going to be back with uh, Nathan Parrott, actor, vocalist. Uh, if you have any questions for him, give us a call at 1-800-336-2225. 1-800-336-2225. We'll be back on La La Land with Brett and Adam on CRN Digital Talk. <laughs>